Hi, second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy, and we are on Module 7, Lesson 15 today. I am really excited today because just like we did at the beginning of the year, making a cent centimeter ruler, excuse me, we're going to make an inch ruler today. So you have your very own tool to measure with inches at home. For today, you're going to want some kind of paper to make your ruler with. So pause the video and grab that, grab something to write with as well. And come back when you're ready. All right, first thing we're gonna do today is some subtraction fast facts. It's important that you know these facts as fast as you can go so that when we start getting into harder and harder math, you can just whip off these numbers super fast. So I'm gonna put the number sentence up. I'm gonna snap my fingers and I want you to tell me the answer. Ready? We're gonna go fast, 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 fast. So take a deep breath. Here we go. Good. You guys are fast. Nice job. All right, now we're getting into the 12. Our hole is going to be 12 this time. Here we go. Nice. Nice job. Good. Should be noticing a little pattern. Good job. All right, 13s, ready? 13s are whole. We're going to subtract our single numbers again. Here we go. Good. Nice job. We're going to practice those over the next couple lessons. So we'll keep practicing, we'll keep getting faster, and you guys will be subtraction experts. All right, let's start with our application problem today. This says Edwin and Tina have the same toy truck. Edwin says his is four toothpicks long. Tina says hers is 12 lima beans long. long. How can they both be right? I want you to talk to someone at home about how they can both be right or pause and talk to me. How can both of them be right? Got it? So they both use, so Edwin used toothpicks. Tina used lima beans. Are those the same units of measurement? No, right? Which one is longer? The toothpick is much longer than the lima bean. The lima bean's pretty tiny. So they both could be right. Edwin had only four toothpicks because toothpicks are longer. And Le Tina had 12 tiny lima beans. So they had different units of measurement. So they both could be right. All right, let's do it. So yesterday we talked about one inch. It's a little bit different than one centimeter. Which one is bigger, one inch or one centimeter? One inch, awesome. So today we're gonna make a tool to help us measure inches in a more efficient way than just using our finger like we did yesterday. So we're gonna add numbers to our hash marks, just like we did with centimeters. We're gonna start with one and go from there. What does that one mean? Is it one monkey? One dollar? It's going to be one inch. Remember, we're measuring in inches. That's going to be one inch. And then we can go from there. The zero is going to start at the very end. We do not start with zero on our numbers. This first mark is always going to be one. Zero is down here. So we're going to keep going all the way up to measure out our ruler. Remember when we're measuring, each of the marks has to be equal. If they're not equal, we will not get an accurate measurement. All right, so let's start with just, what I'm gonna do today is take my thumb, here, let me make my finger a little bigger. I'm gonna take my thumb 
and the measurement from the top of my thumb to my knuckle is about one inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the end of my paper. The very edge of my paper, I'm gonna mark with a zero because I know that's gonna be zero, that's zero inches. And then from the zero, I'm gonna line up my knuckle to my the top of my thumb and I'm gonna make a mark. I'm gonna do it with my other hand. And I'm gonna make a mark and that's going to be one inch. See that? Now, starting from this mark, I'm gonna line up my knuckle with my thumb. I gotta do it down here. And I'm gonna make another mark. And I'm gonna write a two. Okay? And I'm gonna keep going, taking my knuckle, lining it up with my thumb, and I'm gonna make a three, making sure I have equal measurements. What I want you to do is pause and make your own ruler. You're gonna start at the very end, that's gonna be your zero. Take the knuckle of your thumb, line it up, put a mark where your thumb ends. Line it up, line it up, and keep going all the way across your paper. All right, I'm gonna do the same. When you are done, I want you to unpause the video and come back. So pause the video, measure out your inches. Remember we're measuring inches and not centimeters and make your own ruler that you can use at home. All right, unpause when you're all done. Got it? I got mine, all right. So we're gonna keep counting up all of our inches. If you have a ruler at home, you will notice that rulers end at 12 inches. Do you know what 12 inches is called? Yeah, 12 inches makes a foot. So we can met, we've now learned a bunch of different ways of measuring. We've learned about yard sticks and meter sticks. We've learned about centimeters. We've learned about inches. And now we know 12 inches makes a foot. Every ruler is about a foot long. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's measure some different objects and make sure we know how to use our rulers. How long is this paper clip? Make sure you include your units. Good, two inches, awesome. How many more inches would we need to add to make a foot? Remember, our foot is 12 inches. Good, about 10 inches. Two inches plus 10 inches equals 12 inches, and that will give us a foot. Good, let's measure an index card. How long is this index card? Don't forget to tell me your units. Very good, five inches. Five inches plus how many inches will give us one foot? Good, about seven inches. So five inches plus seven inches equals 12 inches or one foot. Awesome. So what you're gonna do today is you are going to use your ruler that you created, or if you have a ruler at home that works too, and to measure different objects around your house using inches, not centimeters, inches. Okay, and then I want you to try and solve these problems. We learned today that how many inches equals one foot? 12, good. Now if I have five inches, how many more do I need to equal one foot? Seven inches, good. Now, I don't know how many inches I'm starting with, but I have four inches. How many more do I need to equal one foot? Very good, eight inches. So when you're done with the video, you're gonna practice measuring in inches, and then you're gonna do a couple different practice problems to, to talk about measuring up to one foot. Good job today. Make sure you use your rulers.